Welcome back everyone to another video. Since the sudden disappearance of the Chromium 4 SBC project, we haven't had a stable build of Chromium OS on the Raspberry Pi until now. Flint OS seems to have picked up where Chromium OS on SBC left off. This brings us to the Flint OS version 0.2 for the Raspberry Pi 3. Now the Raspberry Pi 3 is not the most powerful machine and definitely not powerful enough to run Chromium OS. Still, I'll try to be as positive as possible but don't expect too much. Right after booting into the OS and logging in, we see a lot of stutter and more like a complete pause for a couple of seconds. After letting the OS settle down for a bit, it becomes a bit more usable. So first, let's get started with YouTube playback. I didn't really expect much and that seemed to be the right decision. The playback was fine at 320p or even 480p, but as soon as I bumped up the resolution any higher, it didn't work at all. They do include the GPU drivers which is great but looking at the Hello Racer WebGL demo, I'd say they included a Mesa 11 build and not a Mesa 12 or a Mesa 17. However, the other demo Racer S gave a much better experience and expected performance that I'm satisfied with. Next up, we will take a look at Octane Benchmark, which aren't that great either. The Chromium browser on the Raspbian OS scores way more than it does on the Flint OS. So at the end, I'd like to say that if you want a decent browsing experience on the Raspberry Pi, go ahead and install the Raspbian OS and use the Chromium browser. But for some crazy reason, if you specifically want to run Chrome OS on the Raspberry Pi 3, then use the Flint OS. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.